the cream of the crop. Nobody does it better. What's good YouTube, it's your boy Fly and Kaido's son has been the talk of the community for quite some time since he's been revealed in the story. And to the shock of many, it was revealed to us that Kaido has a son and everyone was kind of shocked and like, oh, this character that no one ever heard of just randomly just came into existence. And although we don't even know his age, what he looks like, and all we know is his name, many are questioning if he's going to be friend or foe. Now there's been many theories going around about Yamato and who he is. Is he the bald guy from Punk Hazard that calls for Jack? Is he Katakuri? Is he one of Big Mom's children? And well that's what this video is going to be about. We're going to try to discuss how strong he is, who he is, who he might be and his future role within the story. As I mentioned earlier many people theorize that Yamato is one of Big Mom's children or Katakuri, Daifuku or one of them. I, I think we can lay that theory to rest it's not one of them since it's been revealed Yamato's name. People just have this weird fetish or imagination of Kaido and Big Mom once having sex, sexual relations long long ago before they split up and that's why they had um, animosity towards each other because they had a kid together i i don't think that's the case now before we discuss whether yamato will be friend or foe i want to discuss the possible strength or how strong yamato might possibly be and there's been a lot of debate going on whether he's going to be the exact opposite of kaido he's going to be lanky weak a coward and then there's the opposite where people think that yamato's actually the ace of the crew and he's actually not as strong as Kaido, but probably half as strong as Ka Kaido, and he's quite a formidable opponent. And that he will live up to the reputation of being the son of the strongest creature in the world, and he's going to be a great obstacle for the Straw Hats or for anyone that gets in his way. Now recently, the Tobi Ropa was summoned by Kaido and King that they were tasked and summoned to go look for Yamato, and it sounds like this isn't the first time that they've been tasked to do this because before when they were questioning why they were even summoned in the first place, Drake posed the question asking why Kaido has not waiting for so long and why he summoned them in the first place. Sasaki then responds that there's only one reason Kaido ever really summons them for and that's because of family issues. So it sounds like this is not the first time that Yamato and Kaido have been at odds and it's been shown in the recent chapters that Kaido and Yamato don't really seem to get along or like each other as Kaido is yelling asking where his son is, why isn't he at the banquet? And when Kaido mentions to the Tobi Rope that he does want them to go find his son, Ulti responds saying so it is family issues why don't you fix it yourself so it does seem like everyone in the crew knows that Kaido and Yamato do have issues with each other and clearly have a disdain. I don't know if Kaido himself doesn't like his son but I can definitely assume or we can assume that Yamato does not like Kaido for whatever reason maybe he doesn't approve of what Kaido's been doing all these years but he can't really stand up against Kaido because Kaido is Mr. Land, Sea or Air. Also, when Kaido mentions that he wants the Tobi Ropa to bring Yamato back, Black Maria does mention that it's going to be a formidable task and it won't be easy. So that could mean one of two things. One, he's a very elusive person and he's very hard to find. Or he's actually a very formidable person and might not be as strong as Kaido but he definitely is a force to be reckoned with so bringing him in won't be an easy task. I also want to talk about the possible origin and background of the name Yamato that Oda gave Kaido's son. And that Oda may have named Kaido's son Yamato based off the person Yamato Takeru, sorry if I'm butchering the name. In short, Yamato was the son of Emperor Keiko who was sent away to a other land because of his brutality and his temperament. Who is at one point in his life in possession of the sword, the Ame no Murokumo no Surugi, that was once inside the Yamata no Orochi. I probably butchered that entire thing. <laughs> and Emperor Keiko in actuality wanted Yamato to be dead. Obviously not the full story, but if you want to look up into it, his name is Yamato Takeru, you can search that up in. Uh, you guys get the gist of what I'm trying to say in that this is obviously the origin or the background behind Kaido's son's name, and obviously there are relations with Emperor Keiko being obviously Emperor Kaido and the two clearly having animosity towards each other. Obviously these characters aren't going to be the exact same but Oda is definitely going to take inspiration from this character Yamato Takeru and we can probably based off this Takeru person that Yamato is probably going to be similar to this guy. He might be a savage, might be a little rough. So the whole point of that background story is so we can use that as a basis for Yamato's character as Yamato is definitely going to have similarities with the character that he's inspired from. 
Yamato Takeru was also famous for defeating and killing a bunch of people while cross-dressing as a maid servant. So don't be surprised that Yamato in the One Piece story will be first introduced <laughs> in cross-dressing as some sort of girl or something trying to hide and defeating a bunch of people. I think that'd be very Oda like it would be very funny for his first introduction and would be a great homage to the Yamato Takeru character that he's probably based off of. Now the real question is whether Yamato will be friend or foe and I do believe that he will actually be an ally for Luffy during this war as well as an ally for Luffy for the rest of the arc. With his disdain and dislike for Kaido as previously implied during previous chapters of the arc, I, it definitely seems like uh, Yamato will be one of Luffy's allies and probably one of his greatest allies as he's probably going to be instrumental in the defeat of Kaido whether that be in this arc or later arcs. I even believe that he'll end up asking Luffy for help in taking down and killing his own father and obviously Luffy's already trying to take down Kaido so he'll probably agree but there's a lot more interesting stuff with Yamato that could possibly happen in this arc that I'm salivating and can't wait. The main interactions being with Luffy, of course the main character, Momonosuke as Momonosuke's father was killed by Kaido and maybe Yamato, depending on how old he is, might have resentment or uh, sort of sadness for Momo for what his father did and Momo and him will have a rocky start but end up being friends and allies as they both have a goal in taking out Kaido and obviously I feel like Yamato doesn't like what Kaido's doing and doesn't approve of what he has been doing to the country of Wano but as I said earlier he can't do anything because Kaido is Mr. Lance here so the, the interaction between Yamato and Momonosuke is going to be quite fascinating and they'll have a lot of similarities with each other such as being overshadowed by their fathers and their lineage and the history behind them so they're probably feeling a little down because they can't measure up with what their fathers could do so they're probably gonna bond over that and i mentioned kid earlier because eustace kid seems like he will hold a grudge and will kill your entire lineage for revenge of what someone in your family did so if he meets yamato and finds out that yamato is kaido's son he's gonna strike and probably attack him and if luffy's nearby he's probably gonna save yamato or protect him so that will probably be the start of their little ally friendship thing maybe i, I don't know and it will also help see the difference in character between Luffy and Kid as they approach things differently. Like I can definitely see a moment where Kid finds out, tries to attack Yamato, Luffy stops him and says, what are you doing? You can't attack, can't hurt him, he hasn't done anything. And Kid's like, what the hell is wrong with you? That's Kaido's son. He's, 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 he's an enemy, we have to take him out because Luffy doesn't discriminate towards anyone. So I think they'll become friends eventually by the end of this arc. And now we're going to head into the final phase of this video and that's going to be the future role that Yamato will have in the series. And I have... A little theory for you guys. So as I mentioned I believe that Yamato is obviously has a disdain towards Kaido and doesn't like him so by the end of this arc I do heavily believe that Yamato will split ties with the Beast Pirates and after everything is settled he will not be accepted within that pirate crew so he'll have nowhere to go and he only really has two options at that point. One of those options being that he sets off on his own, maybe creates his own pirate crew and creates his own legacy or maybe he stays behind and helps Wano grow and redoes everything that Orochi and his father Kaido have done to the country. Or we can go to a much more interesting option, a more intriguing route and that's Yamato joins the Straw Hats. I know a lot of you guys raised your eyebrows like The Rock like excuse me what did you just say? I know a lot of you heard Dan raised your eyebrow like The Rock like excuse me what did I just hear? Hear me out as a community we all love to make a whole bunch of theories. We've all heard of weird ones, dumb ones, crazy ones, out of this world type theories so I think I'm allowed to say uh, something kind of crazy. Back to the topic at hand, Oda did state in an interview many years ago that when the next time we got a new crew member, we wouldn't just get one crew member, but we'll actually get two back to back. Whether that means at two at the same time in one arc or one now and then another the arc right after is still up in the air as we've only just got Jinbei not too long ago. And we've all known that Luffy himself stated he wanted 10 crew members and with Jinbei joining that makes 9 not including himself. So what better time to get a new crew member than now? I feel like the crew should be complete and have all the members by the time they take down their first Yonko or at least go against their first Yonko and it's now or never as they're going against not just Kaido but Big Mom so they're gonna need all the help that they can get. And I was talking to my friend the other day and talking about Straw Hats and who's the next one and if there was going to be a next one and I was saying that Carrot had a lot of promise in the beginning of Whole Cake Island 
but as time went on she kind of really really digressed into a background character her time might come later on and she did have shine at the end when she turned into su long but i was telling him and i was saying many many times that every time a straw hat or there's going to be a potential new straw hat they were a focus or pivotal or had a pivotal role in the arc they were introduced or in such as when nami was introduced and as well as arlong park Sanji, Usopp, Zoro, their arcs all revolved around them. Frankie, Water 7 was because of him and Robin. Jinbei, several arcs in Down, Fishman Island, Whole Cake, he all had a pivotal role. Thriller Bark, the whole reason for that was because of Brooke. Like, there's the, the next Straw Hat or potential Straw Hat always had a pivotal role or a big role to say in the arc that they're in. And Carrot really hasn't had that. And I know a lot of people are probably gonna say, she's gonna get her arc sooner or later. To, this is the arc or next arc. But I think, I think her. I think her ship has sailed. As I said earlier, once this war arc is over, the Wano arc is over, Yamato is probably not gonna have anywhere to go and the Beast Pirates aren't gonna accept him because of what he did and going against Kaido. And Kaido himself probably not gonna want him, so Yamato's gonna be stranded and maybe he might wanna roll with the Straw Hats. I think that'd be kinda cool, especially if he's a strong opponent and has a crazy Devil Fruit. If he has a Devil Fruit, I think that'd be very interesting. He definitely has, or as being set up to have a pivotal role in the Wano arc, even though he was introduced midway, but I think he's gonna have a very, very pivotal role in the Wano arc and what he's gonna do in the downfall of Kaido. He probably might have a quirky thing going on. We haven't seen him yet. This is all speculation. There's as much reason that he can join as there's as much reason as he won't join. So it's kind of 50-50 because we don't know much about him. If he's 10 years old or less, forget everything I'm going to say. I don't think we're going to get a 10-year-old joining the crew. And no, I don't think Momonosuke is joining either. That's the video, guys. There's not much else to talk about Yamato because we haven't really seen him yet. Of course, he might be cool. He might be geeky. He might be a coward. He might be lazy. He might be the complete opposite of Kaido. He might be just like Kaido where he's a savage but just doesn't like Kaido and what he's doing. He might even not even be an ally towards Luffy. He might be a third party in this whole shenanigans well fourth party because big mom is the third party you guys get what i'm saying that's the video guys don't forget to rate the video subscribe and click the bell icon to stay notified also follow me over on twitch.tv forward slash fly flizzy i'm usually there streaming about three to five days a week also follow me on twitter fly underscore flizzy that would be greatly appreciated so you can see updates and what i'm gonna upload but other than that put down in the comments what you guys think about kaido son yamato what you think he is who you think he is if he's gonna be strong what devil fruit he might possess he's probably gonna have a dragon devil fruit of course but that's the end guys hope you guys have a good day and a good night i'll catch you guys on the next one toodles